Hello there and welcome to World of Tanks and Gandhi Titan and I have a treat for you this time. Um, this is on Heilbronn and I'm on the Boiler Maker, the um, premium Firefly uh, that was um, released as reward for an op um, some time ago there by um, World of Tanks in connection with the Dark Horse comic uh, series concerning tanks. I'm not too sure, I haven't read the comic. So we're here on uh, Heilbronn, we're top tier. And, well, I've got more comfortable with Heilbronn as a map. Um, there was a prop time there when I never had any uh, look at all of this map. Initially, I decided to go down the centre. Uh, a lot of our, my team is kind of heading on the eastern uh, direction. And I think somebody should go down the centre and act as a tripwire, if nothing else, so as to uh, basically alert them if the enemy are pushing up through the centre. Uh, I'm trying to keep to the low ground and not not get too far ahead of my allies. There's uh, quite a bit of artillery in this game and uh, quite a lot of medium tanks. So I'm having a peek over there uh, to the east. But the leading tanks on uh, that kind of push are also parallel with me. So I decided I'm not going around to that side. Uh, there's too many tanks on that side of the map. And not enough of them here, so I'm going to go up to this bush to have a look and see what if anything shows up along the edge of the ridge. And since nothing is shown, I'm going to go for the high ground up here beside that rock to see if I can spot anything. Basically, I'm hoping that Sixth Sense will tell me, even if the um, nothing else does. I don't have um, good view range skills in this tank. Don't have a line of sight over there, but an AT-8 has. Uh, popped up in the middle. Snap off a shot but it comes nowhere near the 88 and I don't get spotted. So I'm tracking the 88 um, see if it gets out into the open because it will eventually. I hope an artillery might get a shot. I'm going to snap off another shot and manage to penetrate. But I'm immediately um, detected and not just uh, spotted but detected. So somebody's actually pointed their gun at me. There's probably some tank on that ridge uh, behind the 88 on his right. And as I'm kind of waiting for the spot to go away, I notice that they're pushing laterally uh, from east to west towards my position. And there's just an M3 Lee holding in this corner here, which is not a very strong tank uh, in a close quarter fight. Um, the M3 Lee is not very really nimble. I get a shot off with the Firefly, and when I decide to push forward, As I push around the corner, um, a VK3601H uh, pops over the rise and I said the best plan for me is to get in under his gun, force him to come up over the top so that the m 3 d and myself and anybody else is around can get shots onto him. The artillery uh, has managed to get a few hits onto him, which is uh, really helpful because he's actually quite good and he's penetrating with every shot he's fired. However, myself and my allies are doing more damage to him than uh, we're receiving, than I'm receiving. So we managed to take him out. At this point I realize that I'm in danger of being flanked from behind, so it's time to actually turn my attention behind me. As soon as I pull back and I'm no longer spotted, the M3D's been taken out. Um, he obviously got spotted from behind and was probably taken out by the OI experimental. So I fire at the OI but I don't actually manage to do damage. I snap a shot off at the AMX ELC BIS but I don't seem to do any damage to him either. So I'm backing up uh, waiting for the a AMX ELC to turn up again but I notice that uh, our light tank is pushed in behind towards the base. And also that the position to the east of me is completely collapsed. Uh, all our allied tanks are gone. We're four tanks down and the base is threatened. So it's imperative that as many people get back to the cap circle as possible. Uh, there's going to be a whole horde of tanks uh, flooding in there any moment. And if we can preserve as much of the artillery in the game as possible, we might have a chance. I was hoping at this stage that our light tank might take out some of the enemy artillery. But as I cross the open ground here, I get spotted again. However, I don't hang around. I'm in no position to start engaging in a frontal fight with anyone, and um, that is not the best location anyway. It'll be pretty much open ground against multiple tanks. 
My plan at the moment is to break contact with those guys. They're far enough away. It'll be a while before they arrive. Get up here to the corner and help the um, KV-1S deal with the two tanks that it's fighting at the corner. However, as I'm driving up to the corner, the KV-1S kills one of the tanks. And before I get to the original location of the KV-1S, he has actually dealt with the other one. Now we're still down tanks, although we've managed to claw back a few. Um, however, now that the KV-1S has cleared that corner and there's no visible tanks, I decided it's time for me to go back because um, the whole position there behind me is going to get overrun. First one up is an M3 Lee, but I know that he has friends, so basically I have to take him out, but I can't afford to stop. Uh, so. I just pop a shot into him and keep going, hope that I uh, get past his gun before he gets a chance to fire at me. So we get rid of the M3 Lee, uh, I've managed to avoid any return fire, a few shots whiz past but there were nothing close. And uh, now I'm going to break the contact and then turn around and see who's next. Next up is... Uh, the 88. Now I don't really want to face the 88 from the front, so I just want to get across from them, stay in the low ground as quickly as possible. Now I do want him to try and follow me around. Now, if he starts chasing me, I'm faster than him, but I'm also hoping the artillery might be able to get a shot at him while he's um, crossing in front of the hill, and that I'd be able to lap him and come around behind him. The situation is still very precarious, and we're well down on tanks. However, as I come around the hill, I'm spotted by the uh, AMX ELC, but I snap a shot off and finish him off. I'm still very worried about artillery, so I face off as if I'm going to turn, reverse my course, and then change my course again, narrowly avoiding artillery fire. We've managed to pull back at this point, uh, however, the situation is still very precarious. So I come around the corner and the AT-8 is facing the wrong way, which is excellent. However, I don't penetrate him with a regular uh, armor piercing round, so I switch to the APCR and start putting shots in from behind. Stay behind them and try and stay out of artillery's way. So we do a significant amount of damage to him and I'm backing up reloading, take a peek over there and there's a full health uh, Churchill. As I'm reversing up out of the way of the Churchill and considering what I'm doing when I'm reloading, um, there's an ARL 44 detected in the cap circle. So I feel that he has to be the one next. He's top tier, it's a very mobile tank, he's got a very, very powerful gun. So I put a shot into him, he takes out one of our tanks, and I now have the opportunity to finish him off before he gets the reload in. He uh, goes for the ram on me, but I managed to avoid that. and also the artillery and we finish him off so now it's just two of us and the Churchill myself the M6 um, I don't think the M6 is fully upgraded and the Churchill is firing high explosives which is all to the good uh, I don't know why he's firing high explosives it's something I see a lot of these days but um, the Churchill's gun caliber is so low that high explosives actually doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Uh, their penetration is extremely low and basically tanks without... Uh, unless they do very a lot of damage in high explosives, the splash burn through isn't actually going to be all that much. So we take out the Churchill and finish him off. So if being four tanks down we now are even and the remaining tanks in the enemy team are artillery. I have 24 damaging ribbons on this tank as well, which is the most I ever had, and I had a pretty close escape from artillery there. Now I'm going to speed up uh, parts of the video here because um, not a lot happens. I basically decided I'm going to drive towards the cap circle and try and take out the enemy artillery. It's not certain who's going to win at this point in the game. Um, I'm heavily damaged. The M6 isn't too badly damaged, but... Um, 
if we don't take out all the enemy tanks or win by capping, it's going to be a win by um, who's done the most damage. At this point, we spot one of the enemy artillery, and I've already loaded high explosives, so I just wait for the tank to zoom in and take a shot off. One of the things that I can underestimate, so that's my top gun, but one of the things that I have underestimated in this was um, when I was playing, was the amount of time, the sheer size of this map actually. Um, it was about 5 minutes 20 seconds remaining when we finished off the Churchill. And it's now practically two minutes later when, by the time we arrive at the cap circle. So we are fortunate that the remaining enemy tank didn't cap in the last 10 seconds or so because it is doubtful if I'd have gotten back in time to uh, interrupt the cap circle. You'd cap on a regular game in about a um, minute and 30 seconds. I decided not to chase after it either because there isn't enough time left for us um, to cap if we went chasing after the enemy tank and the gorilla is actually fast enough so we might not catch it. So he's firing randomly into the cab circle I think partly in the hope of hitting us and partly in the um, trying to entice us out because we know roughly where he is. So that's it, uh, game over. So 82,000 credits, uh, 7 Nearly 7,500 XP, 3,110 damage, high caliber, ace tanker, and my first ex uh, my first mark of excellence, as well as a top gun. So it was a really, really good game. It is, like I said, a very good, one of my best games for quite a while, and I came top. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you all soon.